if you've been using Excel, you may have come across two functions, max and min, for finding the highest and lowest values in a set of data, such as these scores for the students here. I might want to know the top score and the bottom score. But what if I want to find the one second from top or third from top or second from bottom or third from bottom and so on? Well, I can do that using two other functions called large and small. So let's use those. First, I'm going to use max and min. So that's the highest value here. So I'm just going to click here. Now, I'm in my formulas ribbon here, and I could go into more functions. You might not have to go into more functions, and you will see statistical. And if I scroll down, you'll find max right there. Now, on the Windows version, it comes up in a dialog box like this, but on the Mac, it comes up on the side, but it works in exactly the same way, including finding it on the ribbon as well. Now, number one is the range. So I could just highlight this range, but there is another way to do this. I'm just going to delete that. I could just click on the top here in column B. So as long as I know there's no data below that, I can highlight all of that. And then if I add more data, it will just get included in this as well. So that's a quick, neat way of doing it. It actually ignores this title up at the top here where it says score. If I click on OK, the highest number, I happen to know it's 95, good score. But what if I wanted the one second from the top? Well, let's just click here. Now I could go to the ribbon and choose that statistical section again, but instead I'm gonna go into insert function here, which again, same on the Mac and Windows. I click here. It's automatically gone into this category here of statistical because I was there before. Let's just scroll down and find large. There it is. I'm going to click on OK. Rather than saying number this time, number one, it's got array, which is this set here. And again, I could just click here in column B. K is the position from the largest number. So the second largest number would be number two, and then number three, number four, and so on. So that's what K is. It's the position in the array. So I'm going to choose number two. You can already see it's come up with 85 over here. And I'm going to click on OK. There it is. I'm going to get a bit clever here. I'm going to type in the number three here because what I want here is a number that is the third largest. So again, I'm going to go into insert function. I can just type in large and press enter. And there it is. Click on OK. And this time the array, I'm going to select column B. And K this time, I'm going to choose this cell here. Now the reason that can be useful is, and it's coming up with 81 here, which is the third highest number. I could just change this to find out the fourth highest, fifth highest, and so on. What if I choose a number that's outside of the range, say more than that, more than the actual scores that I've got? So let's put in 20 because that way exceeds it, and it will come up with the number error in there. So let's just go back to number three. For lowest, I can have min, but you probably guess how min works. Let's quickly use it. Let's click on min here. It was one of the most recently used. I'm going to click there to highlight it and click on OK, and it comes up with 36. Let's just clear that because you can actually use small for this as well, and the same would apply to large using the same kind of thing. So to use small, let's go into insert function. I could type in small here, but as you can see, it's one of my most recently used, so I'm just going to click on it there. And the array, once again, is column B, and it is the one at the bottom. It's the smallest number, so the position from the smallest number is number one. And you can see it's come up with 36, so let's just click on OK. Let's do the same again. I'm going to now just do insert function. It's already selected small. It's that array. And once again, number two, second smallest number is that. I'm going to do the same trick that I did here. Third smallest, insert function. Let's highlight that. Then K would be this number. So I can just punch in whatever number I like. And once again, if I exceeded however many values there were, I would get a number error. So let's go back to number three. So that is how you can use large and small and also max and min. 
If you do like this, please do like, share and subscribe and come back for more. Thanks very much for watching.